The only people that were benefiting from me being a nice person were the people that were leeching off of me. I take accountability in the part that I play in a lot of the pain that I've suffered. You don't know real pain until it hurts so bad that you have to pray to God and beg God to make it stop. A lot of the things that I've gone through, had I walked away, had I just implemented some boundaries, had I not been so nice, I wouldn't have gone through them. You give me a vibe and a feeling Like one I won't ever see again This music, like I said, she won't hear it Like one I won't ever see again Hello, hello, my queens and kings. It's your girl, Maru Nikki, back again, time and time again with another B. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm back with my little chit chats because it's been a long time since I've done a little chit chat with y'all. And where we get real, where we get transparent, where we talk about some things, it's been a long time. So I got to give it to you. I shouldn't have left you <laughs> without a dope beat to step to. <laughs> For this chit chat I'm having with y'all, once upon a time, I used to be angry about this topic, but as I've been growing and I've been healing and just, you know, evolving into this person that I'm loving and becoming, I am just not angry anymore. I'm really just letting go and a lot of things are just hitting me at once and I'm grateful and I'm receiving it with grace, okay? And I've just been learning a lot about myself. I feel like somebody's gonna be able to relate and what I be going through and what I be thinking about resonates with y'all cause like honestly, life is all about trial and error and making mistakes and realizing and learning so that you can be the best version of yourself. I say this time and time again. I've really been involving and just becoming this beautiful woman that I like when I look in the mirror, I love who's looking back at me. And I just gotta keep it real with y'all. The person that I'm becoming is no longer the nice girl. The nice person that I used to be can't go with me where I'm trying to go. I can't be that nice girl anymore. She's dead and gone, rest in peace to her, she's deceased. Y'all seen my story times in the past, I used to go through constant shit, back to back, going through something. And a lot of the times it was because I was being too nice. I know it, y'all know it, y'all say it in the comments time and time again. I already know this, it's not news to me. If I really wanna evolve and I really wanna continue my healing journey, I have to be able to set boundaries. I have to be able to tell people no and when to fuck off. And I can't do that while being the nice girl. The nice girl that I was, was giving people the benefit of the doubt, doing all types of unnecessary things, overplaying her role, doing more than I needed to do, when in all reality, I didn't have to do that. The only people that were benefiting from me being a nice person were the people that were leeching off of me. The people that truly care about me, the people that truly have my genuine interest at heart, they never asked me to continue to stay a nice girl. Nobody's ever asked me that. Actually, to be quite honest, the people who care about me and the people who have my best interest at heart tell me that I need to implement more boundaries in my life because I be letting and people walk all over me and it's true when people tell me that though i don't listen to anyone i listen to myself i have to go through things on my own before it hits me like you can tell me one thing but it's not gonna hit me unless i go through my own experience as y'all already know i say it all the time in my videos when i'm really just sitting here talking to y'all that i take accountability in the part that i play in a lot of the pain that i've suffered and a lot of the trauma that i've undergone i do play a part in it because a lot of the things that i've gone through had i walked away had i just implemented some boundaries had i not been so nice i wouldn't have gone through them and i think i seen somewhere where they said that a nice person it, the definition for it is like foolish and i was like yo like i said i feel like the people who want me to be nice only benefit from me being a damn dummy being that nice person gets me nowhere to be quite honest like it really don't do shit for me people respect you more when you implement boundaries people respect you more when they realize that you're not a doormat and they act like they got some damn sense when you just don't lay everything all out and just allow people to play with you any kind of way and even though i know these things unlearning something that i've been doing for such a great part of my life and relearning this takes time so as much as i know it implementing it into my life is a little tough and i've been doing it and i'm okay with where it's going i'm still very very new to this but it's like, I can't keep going through that pain anymore. I feel like some of y'all know the type of pain, like you don't know real pain until it hurts so bad that you have to pray to God and beg God to make it stop. That's some real pain. That's some real shit that you've been through. When you had to cry and tell God, I don't want to feel like this anymore. I'm tired. I'm so tired of feeling like this. Please make it stop. I don't want to. And you cry yourself to sleep. 
that's some serious pain. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. I don't even want to wish that on myself no more. I don't deserve it. This nice person that I was, she was only tolerating what she deserved. And she felt like she deserved bottom of the barrel, bare minimum behavior. And that's exactly why I was just going for whatever. At the end of the day, there's nothing wrong with demanding respect. And there's nothing wrong with walking away from people who cannot do what they are supposed to do. And that is right by you in your life. I'm saying this to you, but I'm really telling it to myself if I ever watch this video in the future as well. Because it's like... I was letting a lot of things slide. I was letting a lot of people walk all over me. And it literally has caused me so much pain and heartbreak and, and I'm just done feeling down and out about myself and questioning if something is really wrong with me. Because a lot of the times there was something wrong with me. I was too nice. I'm letting it go. Like I just, I don't know. This just came on my heart and I just felt like I needed to talk about it. But a lot of the stuff that I go through, I only talk to you about a fraction on camera. I've endured a lot of shit. I'm a lot of people's favorite dummy. And honestly, I can't keep living like that no more. The person that I used to be is no longer the person that I am now. Being the type of person that does demand respect and does demand that you act like you got some damn sense around me is less stressful, okay? I used to sit here and be sad because it's like, why does nobody ever take me seriously? That was my biggest issue. Why does nobody ever take me seriously? I'm such a nice person. I'm such a sweet person. And I thought that everybody else just wanted me to be an asshole and da, da, da. You don't have to be an asshole to stop being a nice person. You can be kind, you can be loving, you can be all of that, but you just don't have to be a fucking doormat. And that's what I had to learn, honestly. And there's nothing wrong with learning that at whatever point in your life, that you learn it. Back in the day, I used to feel bad that I was learning things about myself and learning things about life at such a late age. Not everybody has the opportunity to learn things so soon. Nobody's able to tell you how soon you're supposed to learn about you in your life. It is your life. So if you are learning something and you feel like you're too old to be knowing this and people are far ahead of you, that's perfectly fine for them. But not everybody has the same story. I didn't have that much guidance. I have a lot of things that I'm trying to break, generational curses to be exact. And a lot of things that I'm learning was never taught to me. I had to unlearn things and relearn things so that I can be able to live the life that I wanna live and be happy in it. A lot of things that I seen growing up was not okay. A lot of the things that were tolerated growing up shouldn't have been tolerated. I can't knock them for doing what they were taught, but at the end of the day, that doesn't mean that I have to continue the cycle. I can break it and begin a new one. And that's what I'm doing right now. And y'all are just bearing witness to it, to be quite honest because I don't wanna keep feeling like this. Being too nice doesn't only extend to partners, it extends to friends, family, work, it, it extends all over the place. I was too nice, I was a damn dummy, but that's okay. I'm glad I'm learning these things because a lot of the things that I'm learning now, I can teach to my kids and I can teach to other people and I can teach to y'all. You can be a kind person, a loving person and implement boundaries, all right? I feel like implementing boundaries is a form of self-love. And I feel like I was being a little bit abusive to my own self by allowing people to do whatever they wanted to do with me because I was a nice person. I don't have to be nice to everybody. You don't have to be nice to everybody. You are allowed to be picky and choosy, all right? You are allowed to tell people that you don't need that around you. You are allowed to cut people off whenever you see fit. You are allowed to withdraw from situations if you feel that that is not helpful or it is not conducive to your growth. If it doesn't help you improve, it is your right to step away. And I used to feel bad. In all reality, I was sacrificing my emotions and how I felt about a situation over somebody that doesn't even wanna lose sleep over me. That could give a fuck if I do or I don't. So these are just things that is hitting me. Y'all know I just be talking, but it's just like, this is something that I'm learning along my journey and I just felt like I should share it with y'all. There is a lot of things wrong with being too nice. I don't wanna be that anymore. I feel like I am at more peace when I implement boundaries and I am at more peace when I pick and choose who I wanna extend my kindness and my generosity and my love and my heart to. It is so much better for me and that's all I need to be caring about, me. You are allowed to be selfish with yourself. I am in a very selfish season right now where I'm only concerned about things that make me happy. If anyone can't get on board with that, 
then that's their problem. I'm done pleasing other people. I'm done making everyone else feel better about themselves. And I'm only concerned about making myself feel good. I'm only concerned about the person looking back at me in the mirror. Because at the end of the day, that's the only person that's with me 24 seven, 25, eight. Nobody else is with you. At night, when you laying down and you crying in your bed and you stressed out and you deep in thought and you're angry and you're hurting and you're confused, the only person that's with you is yourself. And the person that you're thinking about could give a fuck about you. And it's just like, why? Why do I keep breaking my neck? Why do I keep letting people use and abuse all that I have to offer? It's not right. Me willingly allowing myself to let people stomp all over me and trample me pretty much emotionally, it's ridiculous. At this point, it's abuse to myself. So I'm saying no more and I won't stand for it. And I'm just done. <laughs> I'm just done, like, I'm just done. I'm just done. This video is quick. I'm not even gonna make it too long, y'all. I just wanted to share that with you and this is just pretty much where I'm at with that on this, on this little chit chat right quick. I hope that this resonates with someone and I know somebody probably feels somewhere this way. And I just hope that you get where I'm coming from. I really do. Feel free to put in the comment section below your thoughts on this and y'all, I just pray that you have a good day. And the only message I can really say to y'all is be selfish with yourself. It's okay. I wish somebody told me it's okay to be selfish with yourself. It's okay. There is nothing wrong with considering when you do things for other people, if it benefits you. If you feel like you're losing everything and they have everything to gain from it, then it is okay to walk away from it. Anyway, y'all. <laughs> That's the end of what I was talking about. I'm just gonna make this quick, okay? I don't wanna rant on and on and on and on because y'all know I can, because y'all know I just be talking. Oh. Not my lash lifting up. You know, I can't rock with these magnetic lashes. Why y'all ain't tell me my lash was lifting up? Anyway, y'all, don't forget to like this video. Turn the thumb up blue, okay? Comment down below, get to type a honey, and push the subscribe button and the post notification bell so you can receive a notification of my post when I post. All right, don't forget to follow me on my socials, especially Instagram, because you know I'm cute or whatever. And I just posted a picture today, so get into it. Make sure you like that, double tap it. My queens and kings, you know what I want you to do, and that's what? Stay blessed and stay royal, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.